give me that robot. Let's give it a taste. It's, it's not as good as I imagined. So I'm going to work on my recipe. See you in part two. Hey everyone! As you can see, the frame of my bar box is still a bit wobbly. So first, I'm going to try to reinforce it a little bit. So this is the bracket I 3D printed in the last video for attaching the dredging to the stepper motor. I did a couple of tests before but this is the final version.
Okay, drag train works fine. Now I need an enclosure for the electronics. Recently, I got a really neat label machine. It's perfect for this. Let me show you. There are some paper at the back I have to peel off. Then just stick it on the button. Now we have a really neat little button with uh, the numbers on it. I don't normally show a lot of cat because it is kind of boring to watch somebody else to use a computer, but this is kind of neat. I'm preparing for the laser cut panels, so I made this aluminum framework and this is going to be the screw hole. I am going to fast forward a little bit, but at the end, I'm going to slow down and show you how to explore a file from Tinkercad for laser cutting. This is the cool part. I have the panel. I could 3D print it small enough, but I'm going to make a cross section of it. I'm gonna slice it long rise through and I'm going to export it as an SVG file. And that can be imported into lots of laser cutter software. And I'm going to build it with a SVG viewer. That's a lot out there. You know, just to make sure the circle is circle and everything looks the way it should be. And then I send that out to a local Shenzhen laser cutting place. I got that back in about 12 to 4, 24 hours. So now I'm pretty excited about uh, laser cutting work. The laser cut acrylic I have made turns out really nice. But they have this paper on the top. I have to peel it off first. Then I'll put a button one by one. So the first one I'm going to put in is zero. How about that? Not bad, right? So I just realized I did them all backwards, so I have to do it again. So I had to flip this and then put them back on.
Now they all light up. Pretty cool, huh? I have to keep going. So in the last video, some of you commented say um, the orange juice didn't go for all the way for the spirit measure and you asked me to change the delay time in the cold and it's not the cold problem. Let me show you. See, now it's filling up and when I pressed it, all the way through and again now nothing comes out the fluid doesn't come go out all the way and I think it's because uh, there is vacuum on the top and it, it can't come out um, but I'm going to tilt it a little bit
It's a temporary solution, and I think I'll figure something out. So right now there is a key here. Uh, it's more for my friend King or whoever is running the dispenser, the manager. And with the key in this position, you just need to uh, press the button and it will dispense the drink. But I want my friend to be able to charge, so I got um, a coin collector from an arcade company. So with the key in this position, you can't do anything. And then you put, put a coin in, and then push the button. It will work so that she can sell coins to people and charge them. I'm just gonna do the same thing here, explore the cross section as an SVG and then send it out to the laser cutter company.
So it looks like it is ready to go. There is only one thing left. I'm going to take it out and let people try it and see what they think. Yeah.